For this activity you will need PVA glue, an old pot and paintbrush, old newspapers, cardboard, masking tape and a mask template which you can either make yourself or find on our website, nincumry.com. On our website, you will also find templates for three different pollinator masks, a bee, a beetle, and a butterfly. Print off and cut out the mask with your chosen pollinator template, and then glue them onto the cardboard. When they are dry, carefully cut out the template and the eye holes. An adult might have to do any difficult cutting. Arrange all the parts together. Here is what the bee should look like. With two compound eyes, mandibles, a proboscis and antennae. Use lots of masking tape to stick everything in place. You can also use balls of masking tape to hold up the eyes and make them stand out. For the butterfly you can use the masking tape balls to make the wings stand out and then tape it all down in place. For your beetle, we have chosen a lesser stag beetle for our inspiration. You could cut out pieces of an egg box to make goggly eyes. Slot the antennae into the mask like this, so it becomes more three-dimensional. To make papier-mâché, first tear up strips of old newspaper, then make up a mixture of 50% water and 50% PVA. You can also make a paste out of half water and half flour. Paste the newspaper pieces all over the front of your mask. The more layers you can manage, the stronger your mask will be. make more three-dimensional areas by pasting balls of newspaper down and covering them with a layer of papier-mâché, like we have done here for the bee's eyes. Leave to dry overnight. You may need to prop up parts of your mask to stop them from flopping over. Here we have used some stones. When your mask is dry, cover it with a base layer of paint. We're using emulsion, but acrylic or poster paint will also work. Use pens over the top once the paint is dry. Here we have chosen to recreate the markings of a peacock butterfly. If you like, you can also add other decorative materials. We have added some sticks for the butterfly's antennae. Alternatively, you can paint your mask with colours straight away decorative things like tin foil once it's dry. We have also scrunched up balls of yellow paper to our bee mask, along with zigzags on the compound eyes. Forgetting the bee's third extra eye on its head. Very carefully make a hole so you can tie on your mask with string. And there you go! A beetle, a bee, and a butterfly. 